If you're like most people, your phone doesn't sleep on the nightstand. It sleeps next to you, on your pillow, under your pillow, or sometimes in your hand like you passed out halfway through a BuzzFeed quiz titled, What Type of Bread Are You? But what actually happens when you sleep with your phone nearby? Is it bad for your brain? Will it set your sheets on fire? Does it make your dreams worse? Let's break down the science, the myths, and the consequences of cuddling your rectangle every night like it's your emotional support algorithm. Number one, your sleep quality probably sucks. Sleeping next to your phone means you're exposed to notifications, buzzing, flashing screens, and the psychological burden of knowing Instagram is just one tap away. Even if you silence it, your brain still expects stimulation. It knows the glowing God is nearby. That proximity delays deep sleep, increases micro-awakenings, reduces REM cycles, and makes you wake up feeling like you got hit by a truck made of memes. So yeah, your phone may be charging overnight, but you sure aren't. Number two, the blue light hits different at midnight. Your phone emits blue light, which tells your brain, hey, it's daytime, wake up. So every time you check a notification or scroll at night, your melatonin levels drop and your sleep cycle shifts. Result, it's harder to fall asleep. You don't sleep as deeply, you wake up still tired, and then need more screen time to distract you from your fatigue. It's like your phone is gaslighting your circadian rhythm. Number three, you're probably training your brain to stay anxious. Keeping your phone next to you while you sleep means your brain never truly logs out. Even subconsciously, it knows. Work emails could appear. Uh -oh. That one person might text. Someone might like your post and World War III might start and Twitter will definitely know first. This creates sleep-adjacent anxiety where your body is horizontal but your brain is crouched behind a bush, whispering, be ready. Over time, this leads to restlessness, vivid and chaotic dreams, chronic tiredness, and a constant need to doom scroll until the sun rises. Congratulations, you're now emotionally codependent with a pocket-sized surveillance rectangle. Number four, the radiation panic, and why it's mostly overblown. You've probably heard that phones give off radiation. And yes, they emit non-ionizing radiation, mostly in the form of radio frequency waves. But current research suggests that it's not dangerous in small amounts. The kind your phone gives off won't cook your brain or give you superpowers. Sorry, that said, experts do recommend not sleeping with it under your pillow, not pressing it to your head for hours, using airplane mode if it's right next to you all night, because even if it's not frying you, it's still pulsing with signals, and your brain would probably appreciate the peace and quiet. Number five, it might literally catch fire, but unlikely. Is it common? No. Is it impossible? Also no, charging your phone under your pillow or in bed can trap heat. Combine that with a thick case, cheap third-party charger, faulty battery, and your refusal to update iOS since 2021, and you've got a mild fire hazard. Most phones today have thermal protections, but placing them on soft, flammable surfaces while charging overnight? Yeah, maybe don't. If you love your phone, set it down gently. Don't tuck it into a furnace and hope for the best. Number six, your morning mood gets hijacked. Waking up next to your phone means the first thing you see in the morning is news you didn't ask for, emails that stress you out, a meme that makes you snort, or your ex liking your three-month-old story for some reason. Instead of gently easing into the day, your brain is thrown into fight or scroll mode before you've even opened both eyes. This hijacks your mood, focus, motivation, and general belief in humanity. The first five minutes of your day should be peace and sunlight. Not a chaotic mix of screaming headlines and five group chats yelling, wake up. So what should you do instead? If you want actual sleep, try this. Charge your phone away from the bed, on a desk, shelf, or across the room. Use do not disturb or sleep mode. Get a real alarm clock. Yes, they still exist. Disable unnecessary nighttime notifications. Stop checking it three seconds before closing your eyes. Or if you absolutely need it nearby, airplane mode plus face down plus far side of the table. Because you deserve sleep that isn't constantly interrupted by someone in a different time zone, commenting a fire emoji on your story from six hours ago. So yeah, your phone isn't just a distraction. It's a bedtime saboteur. It lights up, it pings, it listens, it stresses you out.
it ruins your REM sleep and calls it connection. So yeah, sleeping next to your phone isn't just harmless convenience. It's like inviting a tiny glowing chaos goblin to whisper updates and emergencies into your dreams. Put your phone to bed in another room, let it rest, and maybe finally, so will you.